Hey guys, Sean here from Mahalo.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about getting drivers set up inside Windows 7. The driver is what makes your system able to talk to devices that you connect to it, whether that be a mouse, a keyboard, a sound card, or a video card. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a driver for a video card. Now let's say, for instance, your video card came with the CD that has the drivers on it. That's great, because those drivers will work for that video card. Although, let's say, for instance, it's an old video card and you have a new operating system. There's a couple ways to do this. First off, the first thing I would do is go to the manufacturer's website. From the manufacturer's website, if you plug in the exact make and model, then you should be able to download your driver. Now, when downloading the driver, just make sure you get the right driver for your system. Let's say, for instance, this system, where it's Windows 7 64-bit. And if you're not sure if your system is 64-bit or 32-bit, an easy way to do that is right click on my computer and then hit properties. You can also do this from the start menu. And this will display which type of operating system we have, like for instance 64-bit. Now that we know we have a 64-bit operating system, we can simply download that driver. Let's say for instance the manufacturer does not have a driver for our video card. Another way to get the video card is to simply check for a Windows update. And here's our driver right here. Now if I were to install this driver, my video card would work just fine. Although it might not work as well if I downloaded the drivers from the manufacturer. Another thing to consider is if your driver is digitally signed. This just means it's compatible with your version of Windows. For instance, the video card that we're looking to get our driver for. Now let's say in a case where you have no idea where to get the driver, or even the name, maker, model, the device you're trying to find the driver for. The best thing to do in this scenario is to simply take a look at the device, let's say for instance it's a sound card, and see if you can spot a manufacturer maker model on the card. More times than not the manufacturer will be listed on the card and if you look hard enough you should be able to find the make and model number on there as well. If the manufacturer does not have a website and you're not able to get the driver for them, you simply search the web. Although searching the web for a driver is not the best route to go. Although if you have to look for a driver online and it's not available anywhere else, I do suggest driverguide.com. You just have to be careful navigating this page because it has a lot of ads on it. And there you go. You now know how to find what type of device you have and the best locations to find drivers for that device. If you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. Thanks for watching.